Hey guys, Joe, my man on Works here. Today we're going to talk about Detroit 14 liter turbos. Cut. I can't fucking talk with this thing on. We're going to take this off. What's up, guys? Joe with Momentum Works here for a little bit of turbo talk. Uh, if you're, you know, watching this right away, you know that we're in the, the COVID pandemic right now. So just a little joke wearing the mask there. But let's get into it today. So a lot of customers call in. They say, hey, I got a Series 60 Turbo that I need to have replaced. And they think that every Series 60 is going to be the same. But as I'm sure you're familiar, you know, DDEC, the way they measured these trucks as far as year production, uh, Detroit diesel engine control, uh, varied. So there was DDEC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. After 6, of course, the Series 60 was retired and replaced by the DD15. So we're going to talk a little bit about the DDEC4, the DDEC5, and the DDEC6. Uh, that's going to be the most common of what you're still going to see on the road today. So we're going to talk about how you can identify which DDEC engine you have by the turbo. And of course, you would use this when you need a replacement turbo. It's very easy to identify which DDEC model you have to make it easier to order. All right, so let's check them out. So we're going to start with the beginning. This is a turbo that you would find on a DDEC4 truck, uh, which would be trucks going up to the model year 2003 or 2004. Uh, you can see that it's a waste-gated turbo. Uh, it's going to be a direct bolt on. It's T6 flange, things like that. The original manufacturer for the DDEC4 trucks was actually Garrett, uh, but Borg Werner has this replacement unit that consolidates all the Garrett part numbers into one turbo. Uh, this is referred to by Borg Werner as their K31. Uh, it's a 71 millimeter inducer, I believe. Uh, it's got that really nice billet wheel in it. So guys, this would be the direct replacement turbo for all of your DDEC4 trucks. And like I said, direct bolt on, no necessary changes that need to be made. Uh, for customers that are looking a little bit of an upgrade, uh, you can also use this turbo here, often referred to as the you know S475 turbo from Borg Werner. It's very similar to this K31. It's also designed to be used on that 12.7 liter DDEC4 truck. Uh, the big thing is the absence of the wastegate. So you can make a little bit more boost. Um, you, know, you can run at higher levels and things like that. Either one of these turbos is going to be a direct bolt on for your DDEC4 truck. Here we have the DDEC5 turbo. This is also manufactured by Garrett. Uh, one of the big difference here, uh, this is actually a VGT turbo, um, which means the veins in the turbine housing open and close to vary what the air ratio is in the turbine housing. Uh, the big notification here is that you have this big air powered actuator, uh, works with the V-Pod as well. Uh, this turbo also features a speed sensor. But other than those things, I mean, it's, it's a lot of the same comparison as far as it's a T6 flange. This is a T6 open versus the T6 divided on the DD's EC4 turbos. Um, this one has a billet wheel as well. This one specifically is actually manufactured by Zeki Turbo. And guys, I'm going to have the links below for all the different turbos for all the different Detroit's DD EC4, 5, and 6. Um, What's nice about these turbos, they don't have the electric actuator from whole set, which we're going to get to into on the DDEC-6. But the easiest way to identify if you have a DDEC-5 and you need a replacement turbo is you're going to want to look for this square pneumatic actuator. If you have this square actuator, you have a DDEC-5. If you don't have it, you got a DDEC-4. And like I said, there's the DDEC-4 without the wastegate. So we got DDEC-4. DDEC-5, and now we're going to get into DDEC-6. This turbo is manufactured by Holset. Like I said, this is the last one before the Series 60 was discontinued. This would be the DDEC-6 14 liter. This turbo is very easily identifiable because it has this huge electronic actuator on it. This turbo is also VGT, similar to the DDEC-5 turbo. You can see here, there's a lot more going to this. It's a speed sensor and it's electronic actuator. Um, a little bit smaller on the compressor side, but with that variable geometry on the other side, it makes it a little bit uh, you know, more efficient as far as fuel economy and, and emissions and yada, yada, yada. So guys, DDEC6 turbo, DDEC5 turbo, and then the DDEC4 turbo, and then the upgrade for the DDEC4. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the links below. Uh, we do have all these turbos. They're in stock, ready to ship. Take one more last quick uh, glance over there. 
And believe it or not, we'll touch on this in another video. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have a DDEC 6 and they're able to switch it to a DDEC 4 style turbo. Same thing with the 5. Guys that want to get rid of that VGT and the V-Pod and everything, there's kits available to switch to a DDEC 4 or the 4 Performance Turbo. Any questions, guys, please leave them in the links below.